Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at the ingenious ways in which the Pentax engineers managed to squeeze no less than four functions from one camera feature, and it's all to do with this. IBIS, which stands for In-Body Image Stabilization, and this can be found in Pentax cameras going back as far as the K100D, which was released in 2006. However, Pentax weren't the first to implement IBIS. This was done by a company named Konica Minolta, assuming I've pronounced that right, who were later bought out by Sony that were the first to release a camera with image stabilization with the Minolta Dimage A1, a freaky looking camera if ever there was one, and quite possibly a camera that James over on the Snappiness YouTube channel might find pretty interesting. But it was Pentax that took over the reins with IBIS and rebranded it as shake reduction on their own cameras improving the usability and performance of this feature with each new generation of camera, having gone from 3.5 to 5.5 stops of stabilization. So I must admit that this is a feature I haven't actually used myself, and I'm gonna find out firsthand today what composition adjustment is all about, or at least present what I find anyway. So if I don't do it justice and you know, this feature is actually more awesome than what I'm relaying in this video. Go easy on me in the comment section. <laughs> so as far as I can tell, this feature acts in the same way that shift lens does. But we're not actually moving the lens in this case. We're moving the camera's centre, which is pretty awesome. So with that being said, I think that this feature would work pretty well for things like property photography, where you're trying to get a, a wide angle of view for certain images, especially indoors. But you don't want that distortion, that GoPro type of wide angle look. And this is where this feature would work pretty well, in my opinion. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be using my Sigma 10 to 20 wide angle lens, possibly at 10 millimeters, because that's the, the maximum field of view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a standard shot first, and then I'm going to use composition adjustment to take a further four images with the intent of merging those four images in post and comparing it to the standard image that I took, just to see what the difference is. And I've come down here to this, this bridge, this railway bridge, as there's a train going over actually. Good time in that. And I'm gonna take the images down there of the bridge. Just on a side note, I've obviously forgot my tripod. So we're gonna to have to use the mini tripod. Not the best, but we'll see how it goes. This leads us directly onto the next feature, which is the Astro Tracer function. The Astro Tracer feature is made possible by leveraging the IBIS technology in order to move the camera's sensor while taking long exposures without having to use a tracking mount. The only extra needed is the actual GPS unit itself, the OGPS1 or 2, and you don't even need that if you own one of these cameras, the K32 the K1 or the K1 Mark II, as they already have a GPS unit built into them. The fourth way that Pentax made use of IBIS technology is Pixel Shift. Pixel Shift does exactly what it says on the tin. It takes a series of four images, slightly shifting the camera's sensor for each image, then combines them to create a single image. The benefit of this 
is that you will end up with a high resolution image with less noise, better colour accuracy and higher detail. So I think it's a fair assessment to say that the Pentax engineers of yesteryear did an outstanding job when it comes to IBIS and the functions that they managed to pull out of it. I also think that they did an outstanding job on another function or a feature and it's underused by many Pentaxians including myself. If you want to know what that is, I've got a video up here. Check that one out. I'll see you over there and as always, thanks for watching.